Hi YouTube and welcome to Sketchbook Saturday. It is Saturday and these are sketchbooks. Yay! Um, today is the day that I'm going to go through my current sketchbook. Uh, this is a cat. Cats are inherently attracted to paper. She's gonna, yep, she's gonna sit. Um, I'm going to go through my current sketchbook and sort of show you what I have going on right now. It's not a lot because I just started this sketchbook. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Um, and I've got some past sketchbooks here to show you also. So let's just dive right in. Um, I tend to prefer this video is going to have excessive cat. Um, I tend to prefer the Canson mixed media sketchbooks. I like a sketchbook that has a particularly heavy, thick grain of paper that can accept a lot of mediums because I like to experiment in my sketchbook with things like paint, pastels, watercolors, and um, I like to be able to do all that in one place. Although you'll notice that I have a lot of sketchbooks here and that's because I tend to hoard sketchbooks like they are the thing that will save me from an impending apocalypse. Um, I have many a sketchbook. These are not all the sketchbooks I have, and most of them are unfinished, but I kind of work through them. Um, just whatever's laying around, I'll pick up, really, and, and draw on it. So, uh, let's, let's look at some of these. This is an older sketchbook. Um, it is a Canson Mixed Media in the 7x10 size. I like the smaller sketchbooks because I can take them with me and I've drawn on the back lots of ocean themed little doodles. I'll tend to draw a oh, nudie branch. I'll tend to draw on my sketchbooks or I'll put stickers on them. Um, let's open this one up. We have a Halloween card in it. I also store just random things in my sketchbooks. All right. So this is an older sketchbook. Like I said, I didn't date the drawings in here. So um, this has to be at least maybe two years old. Um, so this is colored pencil and gel liners. Here's another picture, colored pencil, um, pen liners again. These were taken from an article I read uh, some time ago. Here's uh, an experimental page, just playing with watercolors. Um, there might be, no, it's still watercolor. I thought that was acrylic. And I've written just a quote, weird things inspire me. And this says, when injured pediocarpus anglonesis, also known as the bloodwood tree, exudes a blood-like sap which is valued for its medicinal properties. Hello, pumpkin. Can I have this back? Thank you. These are doodles of Courtney Act, a drag queen. She's incredible. Just random. This is just black... Uh, construction paper and a white colored pencil with pen liners and these are doodles sort of of where I was at the time and I believe that's it for that one this is a toned tan book it's Strathmore it's got heavy paper but I don't like the smoothness of the paper I prefer the grit of the Cansons but I, I love the toned paper a lot I love being able to play with the shading, so um, this is something I did with chalk pastels. I tore the page out one day and just kind of drew on it. I'll do that a lot. I'll tear out paper and whatnot, and I'll just flip through this really quickly. Just studies, really quick sketches. This was, I think, a three-hour piece done in June, July. Um, and again, empty. But the paper doesn't go to waste. I mean, I will, uh, I will open that up at some point and draw on it. I just sort of keep them laying around for me to use whenever the mood strikes. Another Canson Mixed Media, this time in a 9 by 12 This is a more recent piece. 
It wasn't in 2006. This was uh, Keira Knightley's 2006 Oscar dress. And this is a derp dog. Figure study. Empty. This is an older book. Um, this is just a Wexford sketchbook. You can get this at Walmart. Not my favorite brand in the world, but the just random doodles, little things to warm up, stretch my muscle. This one is also a more recent sketchbook. Here we have just some faces of the people who were nearby me. Some chickens and roosters. And that's empty. <laughs> the plan is uh, to take the paper out of these if I end up not using them and compile my loose paper into a new sketchbook and use that. But for right now, it's really handy to just have those to be able to grab whenever I need it. And this is the sketchbook that I'm currently working in. It is a huge uh, Canson Mixed Media sketchbook. It is 14 by 17 and it has 60 sheets in it. It's good for acrylic, watercolor, pen, pencil. Again, the mixed media um, thing. I mean, compared to the cat, it, it's, it's a big sketchbook. I like having a lot of room to work in. I tend to draw very small, but I like having the big page. Um, I've already done uh, a sheet in this but I ripped it out. Uh, I tend to do that a lot. These are just some figure studies and here are some gesture drawings and then this is a value exercise that I never finished. And let's look at the first page. Now these are very recent as of a couple days ago. This is Miley Cyrus whose nose needs to be um, shorter and wider but she's done in acrylic paint and in just graphite and um, and uh, Prismacolor markers for the hair and the lips this is um, Morticia Adams and I have an inspirational quote I'm just like any other modern woman trying to have it all loving husband a family it's just, I wish I had more time to seek out the dark forces and join their hellish crusade. And these are all the pages waiting to be filled. But these were drawn on the 14th, so that is fairly recent. Hello, cat. Are you going to lay on my art? That's what cats do. They find paper and then they lay on it. Alright. Yeah. Um... But I look forward to sort of showing you my progress as I fill up this sketchbook and the other sketchbooks that I have. Um, I think it's really interesting to sort of see what people do in their sketchbooks. Mine is storage space for a cat. That's interesting. Um, but all the unfinished, unpolished stuff, the finished, polished stuff, everything that is inspiring to me or that helps my creative process I put in my sketchbooks and I just really want to share that with you guys if you want to show me what you put in your sketchbooks I would love to see that I love watching sketchbook videos I'm kind of addicted to it um, and if you haven't already please like favorite and subscribe to my channel like this video favorite it I mean, if you're not going to like it for me, like it for this cat, because she's cute, and she loves likes, don't you, pumpkin? Hey, my baby! You tell them you want likes. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, and I look forward to sharing more of my work with you. You guys are awesome. You can find me on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, all that as Absentasia or Absentasia Art, and I really look forward to doing more art with you. Okay, guys.